Hey everybody, it's Delicia here. Thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel for my weekly top five cigar pick. Of course, these are the cigars coming straight out of my humidor, hopefully making their way into yours for your week of cigar smoking. So mixture this week of some been out for a while, a couple brand new and a kind of like a regional stick. So here goes. Starting with number five this week, we have the PDR. This is the Capa Oscura. This is by Abe Flores, and it's a beautiful looking Maduro. It has a nice little closed foot, which I like, and a beautiful pigtail. In fact, it has a, a very uh, hefty pigtail, I would call it, to where you actually don't need a cutter at all. You could just pull that little pigtail right off and, you know, happy smoking, all that stuff. So beautiful looking stick. It has a nice rich uh, aroma to the outer layer even though the majority of it is covered up here with an extra little kind of tissue paper to really protect that wrapper which is nice. The overall blend itself is featuring an Ecuadorian sun-grown Oscuro wrapper, Dominican Habano binder, Dominican Criollo 98, and Dominican Corojo filler. So this one's going to give you kind of like a mixture of a hints of sweetness, earthiness, a little bit of cedar, a little light pepper kind of in and out, but really you get those dabs of kind of like that, you know, nice Maduro sweetness effect that goes in and out, you know, while you're smoking it, but really nice. And again, gonna give you a nice rich overall profile. Moving along to number four, we have the Founder Signature Sun Grown. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. I have had it on my list before. Those of you who are familiar with the Wild Bills, um, many different stores out in Michigan, uh, you would hopefully be familiar with the Founder lineup. Again, the Signature Series, um, beautiful offering that's done by Davidoff for the Founder line and just a great, great stick. So again, I urge all of you, I am trying to push for you know, getting them to come out of just in Michigan is I'd love to be able to have to be able to refer you guys to order them, whether it's online or tell you some other places where you could find them. But for now, they are again going to be limited to the Wild Bill locations. But again, if you find yourself in any, you know, place in Michigan, definitely stop into one of the Wild Bill locations and you will be able to find this beautiful founder signature sun-grown beauty with an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Honduran Criollo on the binder, Honduran Criollo Ligero on the filler. You get the nice blood orange citrus, cinnamon spice, anise, a little bit of cedar, hints of cocoa, just a beautiful, well-rounded, balanced stick. Um, absolutely one of my favorites in the overall founder lineup. Again, they have a great portfolio for that. So I know there's a lot of you who are watching that are from Michigan. So those of you who are there or have visited um, can probably agree with me on that. But again, stay tuned for more news about that lineup. Cause again, trying to push it to expand <laughs> a little bit so that everybody can try it. Um, hmm. Moving on to number three is this beautiful cigar that I'm smoking. This is a new one from Villager. This one's called Du Brasil. And they have a Maduro offering and a, I don't know if it's, I think it's just a natural or it's a Connecticut. Forgive me for not knowing. It's two different offerings in the um, Du Brasil new premium cigars that they're coming out with, which is featuring um, all Brazilian tobacco, which is nice. Um, huge fan of Brazilian tobacco, by the way. I think the very, very first cigar that I had ever smoked that was featuring anything from Brazil, which back then it wasn't as popular, was actually the Gurkha Ghost. So way back when it had that nice Arapiraca wrapper, that was the first time I was introduced to it. Beautiful flavor. This one is also featuring um, a nice flavorful Brazilian Arapiraca wrapper. Not sure of the actual blend. Um, I did get on their website. As I mentioned, it's new. So sometimes that information is slower to come out, but um, yeah, their website just mentions the wrapper and that it's using, uh, you know, Brazilian tobacco. So I would jump out and guess that there's a Matafina somewhere in here, whether it's part of the filler or maybe the binder, um, just based on that nice little sweetness, but it's giving a beautiful, again, very rich, well-rounded flavor profile. Um, I've only smoked the Maduro, but again, I always lean towards the Maduros anyways. They just have so much flavor. Uh, this one is really nice. It's a good combination of those sweeter elements, as I mentioned, which is kind of what to me, what I found in the, in most of the Brazilian tobaccos out there is they have that little bit of a sweetness, almost a sugar cane chocolate mixture of some sort, which is really nice. 
You also get um, a little bit of an earthiness, a very, very light, light, I'm talking you have to search for it type of a spice. So the spice is very much in the background, but you do pick up a very small amount of spice on it. But again, mostly sweet um, or sweeter. And then you have a little bit of like a cedar in there, but just a really nice, uh, well-rounded flavor profile on this beautiful new one from Villiger. So very nice. And this does fall in their premium handmade selection. So again, um, just a really nice offering. Very excited to smoke more of these. That brings me to number two, which is the Placencia. This is the Alma del Fuego. So Placencia, in case you're not familiar with them, um, they've been around for quite some time prior to releasing some of their own cigars and really in the last couple years, kind of vamping up this Alma line, which is really cool. Um, they've been making cigars for a lot of other people in the industry for quite some time. They're mostly known for their growing. And again, now getting into the actual, um, I don't know what you call it, like their, the name, uh, their own name, you know, label coming out. Um, again, they're not new to the industry by any means. They have a very long history in the overall industry, but again, um, you may or may not be familiar with seeing their name in your, in, you know, different humidors, but you should give them a shot. They have a great lineup with, again, with their Alma series. So they have an Alma Fuerte. This one is the Alma Fu del Fuego and just a really nice, um, creative line behind that. And again, great tobacco to back it up. This one is beautiful. This one I spent, um, some time on Valentine's day with, it was a really nice offering again, uh, featuring actually all Nicaraguan tobacco. So again, lineup is really nice to really showcase that Nicaraguan tobacco. It has a beautiful closed foot, kind of like a semi shaggy, but more so just a closed foot, which I find is nice when you're, uh, when you're just out and about and you want to light it, you don't have to, it's not as meticulous on the lighting process because it just catches the light and it'll pretty much self correct and give you a nice even burn, which is very nice. So notes on this one, you're going to pick up some citrus, a little bit of a cashew nuttiness, a little bit of a woodsy background. It has a slight spice to it. Um, a hint of sweetness, not, not overly sweet, just kind of more on the earthy, creamy, um, woodsy, and then that light spice to it, but really nice offering from Placencia. And that brings me to my number one stick this week that has been on the lineup before. This is the Menelik by Foundation Cigars, which at the time of its creation was done for only event type of, it was an event only cigar, but now because it's like people have just sought after it, it's such a good stick. It's a semi-regular production. So again, blended by Nick Melillo, who we should know by now, I've talked about him till I'm blue in the face. He's a good friend, but he's also an incredible blender, an incredible, just person um, all the way around and really knows his stuff. So the Menelik, um, just a cool story overall. I did a full review on it a while back, so you can check that out for more in-depth information, but just a brief rundown in case you missed it. It's featuring a very flavorful San Andres wrapper, a Jalapa Corojo binder, Nicaraguan filler, beautiful notes of anise, uh, cedar, milk chocolate, nice little bit of spice to it as well. Just a really, really nice stick. Um, definitely one that if you see it, grab a handful at least because it's not, not super easy to find. Again, it started with the roots of being an event only stick and then slowly kind of making its way to be, uh, again, regular, but I think there's a limited amount of the, within the regular production of that particular cigar, but just a really nice flavorful, beautiful Maduro. So definitely pick, uh, again, a handful at the minimum if you see them, grab some of them, but um, that's it. That's my top five for the week. And I thank you all for watching and tuning in and spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. I do hope you have a fabulous week ahead of you and be sure to keep posting those comments. I really appreciate all of you who, you know, chime in and post the stuff that you that you've been smoking, that you plan on smoking, all of those good things. And don't forget to tag me on social media, Instagram especially. Um, show some love if you have any of these cigars in your humidor or you're planning on buying them to add to your smoking repertoire. Be sure to post those and tag me. And thanks again. Cheers. Of course, these are the... Yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha,